This is an emergency, I beg in urgency, this is a serious case. On his hand, let's get this thing started. Ah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll yeah, give you the spiel. Yeah. As you know, I'm a direct yeah. energy reader. Woo. Yeah. yeah, spirit already moving. I'm a direct energy uh -huh. reader. Don't believe in reading zodiac signs or birthdays, so don't tell me. Uh, I ask that you be open with the spirit and have fun. We're going to be doing your consultation, what that consists of. You can ask as many questions as you feel you, uh, you need to within a lot of time of the reading. Uh, no question is a crazy question, and trust me, I am not going to judge you. Okay. All right. Okay. Woo. Oh, man. What lover, what lover got you crying? What lover are you crying about? Yeah, what boot thing? What boot thing? Love a husband? Somebody you you get and messed around with? Well, I just interacted with the one I'm going to consult about. Oh God! I did a reading with you. Oh, first of all, that was a long time ago. Oh God! Oh God! I did a reading with And he went to the he, he, up happening in June. He went he to the terrorist organization. He went to the terrorist terrorist uh, organization? He went to the West. You say he went and joined the terrorist organization? No, 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 no. He went to ISIS because he was he's from Jamaica. He's Jamaican, but he doesn't have all his legal documentation. Oh, he went to ICE. Because of a legal situation, he went to ICE. Yeah, and yeah. when I told him oh. he was in ICE. Okay. And it ended up, he didn't get built back to Jamaica. He ended up getting released in June back, you know, to the state. And I don't know, it's, it's that stronghold with me and him. I, 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 you know, I leave him alone, but it's just, woo, uh -uh. It, it's, Spirit say you can't. Spirit say you can't stand it. And let me tell you the. Let me tell you the energy they put down. Cause as I was shuffling your card, uh, as I was shuffling your card, I felt warmth down there on my genital areas. And then I start crying out my eye. And I say, Oh my God, she worried about somebody she been screwing. That's how spirit touched me. My body parts feel certain things. I'm just locked into you. So we gonna figure this. I just, I just scrolled in the weekend. Didn't Spirit tell you oh, to get yeah. rid of his clothes a long time ago to give them back to him? I did, I did give back to him, and then I ended up, when he got out, ended up getting the clothes back. Because I told him, you know, I said, I don't care Let's find out. Let's find out. Lord have mercy. Let's find out. What's your first question? Oh, Lord. Have mercy. What's your first question? Let's get this thing. I want you to get some questions. I just screwed in the other day. Lord have mercy. I don't want to mess up. I don't. That's my fear. So that's probably why I 
why you picking up all the energy, because when he came, I made him do a spiritual bath before I slept with him. They made him do a spiritual bath, then you knocked him off. Boy, you a pimp. You pimped him. You sure well, I just want to make sure, man, I, I can't have everything coming up in my house, so I know, you know, where he at and the energy that is in the town, so I just want to know that in the town, so I ran up a bath and I had everything right, say it's running away. If I, I, I knew I was going to do it, so. <laughs> What's your first question, lady? <laughs> <laughs> Spirit, what, what's their connection? What's their connection? What do you see for these two? What do you see for these yeah. two? Health and healing. Spirit said travel, health and healing, travel and let it go. Uh, I they said when so they said health and healing is mending. That they said the, the car health and healing is mending. Travel is don't let him travel and then let it go meaning stop pushing him away or stop allowing him to travel away. So if you can rein him up, keep him close in your house, marriage, get him in you, y'all will be okay. But you got this thing where you don't mind if he take off and go, or you long handle spoon him, come bring him, deal, him, deal with him and get rid of him again. Spirit say, that ain't it, it's a mending thing. If you can convince him to be in your house, not just in your bed, you got it. Well, he want to be there against me. That's what I said, Spirit Savior. You, you the one letting him go. It's, 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 it's me because I drive him off. I, I took him and my grandson back at my grandson doesn't live with him. And he stays two hours away. And he's so does he. So I dropped my bill, dropped the grandson off, and I dropped him off, and I had a stand at his house. So he was like, listen, you just, you just called me when you need to be knocked off. I'm doing a homicide charge with you, and I laughed, and I told him, hey, turn some other way. And, <laughs> and not me, because like, I'm not, I mean, yeah, and when he came and got his clothes, it was just like, uh, I just got a little attitude. I did have an attitude that was in my feelings because it just, it just felt like, it just, it just felt like somebody like me out of here. But, okay, that's him. Now let's discuss, you know, so we with fear. Let's discuss this other one. This other one. This other one. Now I'm not dealing with him, but in the midst of me sleeping the bed with this, uh, with Mickey, this other one pop up in my dream. And this is the one that I knew before Mickey. He was a two cross levels or whatever. Star and in my dream, he was saying, and in my dream, it was my cousin, two of my cousins in the dream. Mm -hmm. And then one of my dreams, my cousin, in the same dream, my cousin was saying, you know, hey, he a man that, you know, him, want nobody but you, he's in love with you, all this right here. And then my other cousin in the dream was like, how you, you know, how you going to leave Mickey on? And that's the one I just told you about the first one. How you going to leave Mickey on and do him like that? So, I, I, I don't know. What 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 is the, the deal with the other one? With, with Kendrick's. What is the deal with Spirit? What is the deal with Kendrick's? Spirit, what's going, going on with Kendrick's? Let's see. What's going on yeah. with Kendrick's? Spirit said, whoa, 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 open your heart to love, father, husband, brother, son, kiss my ass. Woo! Open your heart to love, father, husband, brother, son, and release tension. Shit, so you in love with Kendrick. You really need to be with Kendrick, but you just, you, you'll do okay with old other boy. With Mickey, you, you gonna do okay. Like, you're the one that need to help out Mickey. But with Kendrick, shit, that's your husband. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you like, like me and him not been together. We might have some moments where I've never had before. I'm on my phone, I left my body, like, and me and him. Who is like, fucking you, lady? Up. Huh? <laughs> Who is these niggas that's fucking you? They can never come to Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> so would have left my wife. Let's just stay where the hell you at. Cause nigga, you. Uh -uh. Well, well, I'm just saying, it's the encounter that I had with Kendrick. Like, our souls literally, mom, I can recall when I was in my younger days then, well, my soul left my body, like, and we met up in the clouds, the star, in the cosmos. And it was just, uh, yeah. Open your heart to love, husband, 
release tension. Stop fighting Kendrick and go on ahead and get taken up to the heaven's domain again. <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, is he going to be open? And, and him and, and him and Mickey are Friends. right there in Daytona. I don't live in Daytona no more, but it's been beef with them about me. Like, Mickey and I went to this man's house and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't want to be, I don't, I, I don't want to be this complicated. What the hell, you, you, I don't want to be this complicated. You are. You are being this complicated. Now, you done had two dudes uh, worrying over you. Mickey ain't finna bust up Kendrick. Kendrick is saying, I'm just waiting on you, baby, so I can take you to heaven. And now all this shit going crazy. What you gonna do, lady? Why well, Kendrick don't even be right? Kendrick have all these other women. That's your husband. Yeah, you what? Say release tension. Open your heart to love. You spirit say you can trap both of these dudes, and trap is a bad word. Spirit say you can put the clamp down on both of their ass. It's you who not doing it. <laughs> Well, Mickey just seems to be Mickey's more so of the safe option, but we can get some just a different person. I mean, I'm more free of me and him just. Shit, who who don't have a, who don't have a fuck buddy that when they look they when they dealing with that fuck buddy, you just feel like that person's safe and everything. But then when you when you sit up there and you, and, and you try to marry the fuck buddy. They ain't go crazy because now it ain't no get in and get out no more. They got to live with your ass. They got to think about your ass. They got to deal with your ass. Now you got this man over here. They say that, okay, the one that take your soul to another level. Hell, you can sit up there and that person know you. Shit. Oh, God. Oh, so that's why he appeared in my dream the other night. That spirit prepping your ass for him. They don't stop. Because, and, you know, and sometimes I stop and I won't have a dream, but then I'm laying in the bed next to this man and, and, and he, this dream come and it's, oh my God. So, so Kendrick, oh so Kendrick, Kendrick give you the wet dream, then you roll over and bang him out with Kendrick energy. You ain't right. No, no, no. No, I didn't bang him out because I didn't even sleep with him at that point. It was in the morning when I had the dream. And, and, and Mickey was like, oh, you know, the one that was sitting in the bed, he was like, oh, I need to give you something to get your mind right. I was like, shit, my mind right, but I didn't want any at that moment. <laughs> I was like, why? Can you ask me why it has to be so fucked so, so. uh, Spirit, why? Spirit, why do it gotta be like this? Why? 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 Wow. Spirit said listening. Spirit said detach from drama. Spirit said spiritual laws of attraction. They making you choose. They making you choose between Mickey and Kendrick. So they said listen, detach from drama and spiritual laws of attraction. You just love both of them. It is what it is. You have to admit that I shit. I do. I do. I love both of them. So, for, for different reasons. But that ain't no that ain't no excuse. Every man that ever had a rotation of women loved each one of those women for different reasons. Been now done that. But you had I had to choose the one that gonna be the better reason for me. Okay, well, that, well, well Spirit that's Spirit that's testing that's, you. That's it. Well does Kendrick feel the same way about me? Spirit, does Kendrick is Kendrick in love with her feel the same way about her? Spirit said, come out of the closet. Let me ask again. Does Kendrick feel the same way about her? You told her, go now. Does Kendrick feel the same way about her? Spirit says, stay focused. Okay, Kendrick, your man. Hold on, let me ask you. Hey, is Mickey, does Mickey love her? What's going on with Mickey? Is it fun? What you say? Spirit said, positive change. Spirit said, purification. Spirit said, fresh start. Positive change, purification, and fresh start. You need to get away from Mickey. If you deal with Mickey, you're gonna be forever helping Mickey. You're good to help Mickey. Y'all gonna have a little banging, little sex session. But at the end of the day, Mickey needs too much attention and work. Kendrick, Spirit said, come out the closet and try to make it work. Come out the closet, go now, and stay focused. Anything else? Mm -mm. <laughs> Okay, so we got that spirit. We got that spirit. Does Kendrick feel the same way? I, oh, spirit. Does, does Kendrick feel the same way about her? Spirit said, take charge of the situation. Does Kendrick feel the same way about her? Spirit said, follow your heart. Does Kendrick feel the same way about her? 
work your magic. What did Spirit tell you? If you go to Kendrick and you put down, he gonna ride with you. Yes, he. all these men waiting on you to make the damn decision. First of all, that is not with the man. get an early release. Spirit said yes, he's going to get an early release. Now ask the second question. Will my mom still be here to see her son? Spirit, really? if, it's, if, it's in your, if it's in your divine order to let me know this, will her mother be here? Will her mother be here to see her boy walk out? Artistic expression, clear and shield your energy. <sighs> They said artistic expression, clear and shield your energy and trust. Uh, yeah, they say as long as you don't lie to her. So don't sit up there and tell her he'll be home tomorrow. Don't, don't, basically don't get her hopes up. Don't press the issue because you're going to startle her or you're going to cause more stress. Like right now, she's okay with him being there. You got me? Yeah. If you say, mama, oh, I talked to the baron and he said she getting out, he getting out tomorrow. That's going to do something to her. I'm not going to tell her because she's not on what I'm Different right. So, but yeah, yeah, she gonna they gonna get out pretty soon, and and he gonna she gonna get to see him walk. Okay. So let's ask about mine. My my oldest, he's in there as well. Mhm. Mm Will he <laughs> Will he get out within the next two years? Next two or three? Let's do two. Spirit. Will her son get out in the next two years? Spirit said, find the blessing in your current situation. Spirit said, focus upon your strength. And Spirit said, flow a prosperity. Uh, why are they saying that if he do get out, it's gonna cost you more money? Are you trying to get a lawyer for him again? No. So what, where the no, finances? I didn't get a lawyer for him. I mean, I don't, I mean, he's in all the cases. I mean, I'm not trying to get a lawyer for him. I'm just trying to find out what's going on with him. Mm -hmm. Well, they, well, they, well, they saying this 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 boy getting out soon is gonna cost you money. So spirit, yeah. so this is why spirit keeping him there, cause he has to learn a lesson. Let alone they don't want to bankrupt you. If that's making any sense. Okay, maybe might be cross line with this one that's in my house. What about the the son that's in my house that that told me today he can't pay his car no oil? <laughs> Spirit, I can't ask you, is he going to get out? But will he get himself together for... Yes, will he get himself together, the one that's living in my house? Both of them. Peace offering. See the truth. Oh, boy. About the kids. Uh, peace offering. See the truth about the kids. Spirit said you're catering to these people. You're like, I, I ain't going to do this shit. I ain't going to be here too long. And then you'll sit up there and say, hey, what you want for dinner? That type of energy. You're catering to them. So they mm -hmm. said peace offering. See the truth about the kids. And meditation, you ain't playing, you ain't pushing him out hardcore. So you're allowing him to be there. So he ain't going nowhere until you do the peace offering and you say, hey, you got 10 months, three months, your ass gone. Other than that, he is anchored down. Spirit, when her daughter when her daughter get out, will her daughter do the right thing? Spirit said, oh, she on energy. Fertility. Oh boy. Surprisingly, she's gonna get married when she get out. Is she it, 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 did she have a boyfriend before she went in there? She don't like boys. She, she oh. strictly women. Oh, okay then. So let me tell you what the cards say then. Mother, wife, sister, daughter. This is a marriage card. This is the baby making card. This is feminine energy, Oshun card. She gonna get out and she gonna get some dick, mom. I don't care how manly she look. I don't care what the hell she got going on on that level. She gonna get out and she gonna like a man. 
and I see a baby coming up out of her ass. Listen, man, it's only it's only so many hard objects you can put in yet before you before you gotta get the real thing. Well, I'm sure you don't want to know how hard I'm gonna get hard, so I suck. So you know, like this. She still got a woman feature. Did she got a woman feature, or did she uh, go all the way chain? No, she is not going all the way chain, but she dressed and, mm -hmm. and you know act that way. Oh, that ain't nothing no more. That ain't nothing. That just make her bisexual now, baby. Yep, you got a grandbaby coming from her ass. <laughs> she gonna hear this shit and she gonna be like, that nigga lying. And next thing you know, Chet Statement gonna come around that corner, choke her down. She gonna like that rough shit. Done deal. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. 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 Oh, Get asked to stay another year or get a get moved to a different department, different company side. I said I was gonna retire from that, which is in the next six years. So fifty-five. Ask Spirit if I'm gonna retire from there. So go on and ahead. Spirit, will she retire from here? Five more years. Spirit said freedom. Spirit said offer. Yeah, you're good. Oh yeah. Okay, well, I think all my questions have been answered, I guess. I guess, I guess. Oh, okay. I guess. <laughs> I guess, you guess. Okay, yeah. I had to check my yeah, brain go down. I mean, I mean, it's talking about uh, Kendrick, but I don't even know how being Kendrick don't work because he have a club in Daytona. I live in St. Green, which is two hours away, and then my job is... Stop that with your country sea breeze dad. Y'all gonna make it work. I'm not, I'm not from Seabree. I'm originally oh. from Daytona. Oh, okay. I used to date a girl that, that was from Seabree, that little ass town. <laughs> yeah, it's little. And trust me, I got a garden and I just, and I just stay here in peace because it keeps the boogeyman away, honey. So, I know fear have me here. To yes. protect me. <laughs> but uh, you heard what they said about Kendrick. I think you should try to make it work. I don't know no Travis. I didn't sleep with nobody. I wouldn't mention that shit. I know, but then you know how when you live in a small town and it's like everybody knows me and Kendrick's history. Mm -hmm. And they know me and Mickey's history. And you know how to hate them. So all these people from Daytona. Yes. And they gonna sit up there and they so so you gonna have to choose. That's why spirits they test you. You gonna have to choose. Hey, I, hey, Mickey, I'm working with Kendrick. I ain't gonna give you none of this coop no more. Let him wet, let him spaz out, let him get wild. But you gonna respect this man here. After that, you good. Other everything else, this your test. You gonna your ass gonna die alone. Now don't play with it. Spirit testing. You giving you two good options. One that you can help if you get bored. One that you can enjoy, go to a whole new level, soul searching and shit. So you you got a you got a, you got problems. <laughs> no other. Yeah, you see it? You screwing the third one? Because you, you just said you see your ass by that garden hide from the world. There ain't nobody gonna knock on your door this day and age. I, I know, but I, I have started going out a little bit around Spirit. here and I met some men. Spirit, is anybody coming her way? Anybody new other than Kendrick and uh, your boy Mitch? Spirit say, nurture yourself. Spirit say, priority. Spirit say, look in the mirror and choose peace. You don't want nobody else, lady. Stop playing with spirit, they say. Stop playing with spirit. Oh, God. <sighs> just them two. Just them two. Make a choice. Spirit give you the hard choice, too. Mm -hmm. Two good old people. I know. Uh -huh. How you like your reading? You made 
it like that. I didn't make it like that. Spirit didn't make it just two options. You did. Oh, but I haven't even. I mean, I dealt with Kendrick's. I, you know, I was there spiritually and everything. But I have not dealt with Kendrick's. I, you know, I was there spiritually, emotionally when he got his club open and all of that. But he seemed to think that Mickey put roots on him. So it's just a whole bunch of crazy shit. Listen, make a damn choice. And if, and if Kendrick thinks Mickey did something to him, send him my way and I can clean him up. How about that? Yeah, that might be the best thing. I took him to somebody before and they ain't like him. No, I'm wondering. Oh, oh I can't ask another question. Now, I wonder if he would have told me shit. The, I'm not going to ask that question. Read, the reading over. The Lord have mercy, woman. <laughs> I know. Go watch. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm, I'm excited to get my ammo because that's going to bring me Yes, everything. All the all the animals will be going out tomorrow. I got them packaged right here, blessed and consecrated. I even wiped off some of the blood because the last somebody see last animal I said them had so much blood on it they didn't know what to do. So I made sure I cleaned them too. <laughs> Wonderful! I, I'm I'm excited to get mine and wear mine. Lord no. Hey, we gotta do it up. All right. Well, you know what I like to say. If you need to reach me, you know how. Thank you. I, 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 I love those, and my son that sit with me, and I tap him onto it, so he loves it as well. He he be up all night listening. <laughs> well, when I turned him on to it, well, I'm not even gonna say that when it resonated with his soul, because it has to resonate with people. Yeah. So when it resonated to his soul, he just basically stayed up all night for a couple of days and just. Listen to all of them, and then as they come out every week, he'll listen and he'll ask me, Mom, what you think? And that would make it kind of so, and that would kind of make it difficult, you know? Because it's like, out of all my kids. He don't want, that's why, spirit, that's why Spirit said you cater to him. That boy ain't going nowhere till you give an ultimatum. My cars don't lie. I know, I know, and I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I know. So it was just confirming already what these were take place. Oh, yeah. Thank uh, you. Thank uh, you, Baron. I love people with that much energy. I mean, she called. She went holding back. She let everything out on the table. She got spirit. She was interacting with conversation with And spirit gave her the best information. I love that. And she is just a fun woman, man. I mean, and she, she, she from Florida now, up the road. So I just love her. She's just a really good person, fun loving. She good. So I know everything gonna work out, but I really need for her to see if she can wrangle up Kendrick ass. What I seen in the car, Kendrick is good for. Pause the comments below. All right, everybody, I am the Baron telling you guys to trust the you and the universe. Because at the end of the day, that's all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. So far. As you know, I'm a direct energy reader. Don't believe in reading zodiac signs of birthday. I ask that you be open with the spirit and have fun. We're gonna be doing you, who is my reach you gotta be at the moment right now. Now keep in mind, I'm not an Epa priest, so I do not crown, okay? Can you hear me? All right, so I'm not a Epa priest. I do not crown, so you would have to go to one of them if you're looking to get your head crowned. And that I'm just telling you which Orisha is over which aspect of your life at this time, okay? Okay. All right. All right. How you feeling today? Taking a little bit of shuffling your car, so your first name or whatever you like to be called, so I can pray on. Do I have permission to cut your car? Yes. Yeah. All right, let me see. 
13 cards of deal. First one come out is going to be the one over here at the moment. Shango came down on the third card. Good. Now I deal 10 cards. Same thing. Ooh, old Shun came down in your actions. Let's see what's over your destiny. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Alright, you don't have nothing over your destiny. Let me ask. Anybody want to come talk over destiny? See what's going on. I deal seven cards. Let's see what's going on. Anybody? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright. You do not have an Orisha that want to come over your destiny right now. So that means that's the question, so we're gonna read you these two. All right. <sighs> well, we're gonna start with your first. Oh, we should dig it through. Oh, get well. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not tired of spirit. All right, this is the reach that's over your headspace at the moment. This is why you're thinking like you're thinking, speaking the way you're speaking, perceiving things the way you're perceiving it. Uh, yeah, spirit say you got a complex, a real complex. Spirit say you got this complex where you think you're better than everybody else, almost like my way, no way, that energy going on. Uh, what else you wanna say, Shane? It's like, they saying, it's like you're you're saying this, but you don't know why you should be saying it. It's like, it's in a sense of entitlement, thank you. So the, he said you have a sense of entitlement going on and a lot of your people see it, but they just not paying attention because they saying you're so entitled, you're not seeing the big picture, the real picture, or what really matters. Uh, his message for you is uh like can you just sit down take a step back and really pay attention to what's going on stop being so matter of fact or i got this or i don't need your information i don't need your help could you like calm that down what he's saying would you like to ask this card a question i'll say that one more time would you like to ask this card a question um yeah so other than just sitting and calm calm down and just take a step back what else could i do uh, what else can you do on the sense of you feeling like you're entitled, like you're better than everybody else, that energy there? What else can you do to calm that down? I, I, I want a specific question. Um, I know I don't have a question for that. So you understand what they're saying? Yes, I do. I do. Okay. I won't. I won't put my two cents in it then. <laughs> All right. Let's go over here to your second Arisha. This is Arisha that's over your actions at the moment. This is why you move the way you move. React to the things you react to. Uh, this is just why you do the damn things you do. In this area right here, you have Oshun. Now this is pretty good. Having Oshun in this area, she she she's over, you know, fresh water, sensuality, a submissive, imagination. So she's over that. So spirits say you're 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 being this way to get to to you're being this way for the affection of someone. Now I don't know if you're they they were showing yeah they showed me sexual activity, but you're being this way for the affection of someone. Uh, horseshoe. They they showed me a horseshoe crab. So this it, are you dating an older man? Um no, he's just one year older than me. Okay then that's so so why 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 is why spirit referred to him as the horseshoe crab? I'm not sure. Is he is he is he a water sign and he just like to sit hang out like is he water sign? No, he's an air sign. Spirit showing me a horseshoe crab, but they show sexual activity. Then they show me a horseshoe crab. But let let me get off of that because I they, it'll probably come to. So now spirit say you're this way because you're trying to make this particular you're trying to please your partner so i don't know if your partner has the same amount of arrogance going on or you're trying to be strong because he is not you follow me mm -hmm. so which one is it because he's not okay I, it had to be one of those two because a horseshoe crab it doesn't move it, it i mean it doesn't even fight you half of the fucking time it just been around it sits and it exists and it's been around for millions and billions of years that's why i thought he was older here so he doesn't does it does it have an angry bone in his body? He doesn't rabble rouse or nothing. He'll let you he okay with letting you say, hey, put that shit in check and he just come and clean up the slack. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm understanding. Yeah. So that's that's but now your first card was over your head. Shango saying you need to take a step back and see what's really going on. So I know you didn't have a question for that, but I just can't let you go through this reading without giving you some good information to help you. With that being said, Shango saying take a step back and you need to figure out why he's being so passive. Why do you have to be so aggressive? The role should be reversed. Okay. But back to Oshun. Oshun is like, you're doing this to protect him to, because you love him, you want to be involved with him, that type of energy. But she says you're serving, you're, the, this form of serving him is not doing him justice and not doing anybody any good. Would you like to ask her a question? Okay. Um. 
This is your actions. Why are you doing the things you do? The way you move. Is there like, I'm trying to phrase it. Is there something else that's like really drawing me to him? To like want to like do all of that with him? Spirit, other than, other than his passive nature, is there an underlying source that's drawing her to be his protector or that type of stuff? What's going on here? Spirit said family, fertility. Okay, what's going on? Follow your heart, positive change. Oh, wow. So, uh, it's just a simple fact you want to be his mother, you want to nurture him. Uh, they kind of saying you had issues with your parents. So, it's to the point where you like, okay, I, I, I won't let him fail like my mom or dad let me fail or whatever. It's like that energy and spirit say you're not doing him a good service. Fertility is family. Follow your heart and positive change. You're trying to change the narrative of his situation and yours by you being the alpha energy and allowing him to just be passive aggressive and yeah yeah you saying bitch i got it for both of us and spirit saying this is not how you gonna get your blessings or your money or your feminine energy back you got me yeah yeah you're just trying to nurture him and you're trying to nurture yourself so you just want an air of control so that nobody got to get hurt with abandonment issues uh being left on the cold or, or just that energy but that's not your job. Your job is to love your man, your husband, your boo thing, but not to mother him and control him. And he got to okay. he got to step it up a little. Now we do got a little bit more time, and you did not get a destiny. So do you have any direct questions for spirit? I give you about two of them. Okay. Yep. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Um. Do my ancestors feel like I'm honoring them enough? Uh. Can I ask that in this reading, since it's not an ancestor reading, spirit? Uh. Spirit say yeah. Spirit say yeah. Spirit, uh, ancestors, do you think they're honoring, is she honoring you enough? Focus upon your strength. Oshun energy again. Focus upon your strength, feminine energy, and persistence. They're saying you need to get more feminine. That's all. They're saying if you're a woman, you're a woman. If you're a man, you're a man. You gotta get more feminine, but they okay with that as long as you walk in your female per uh, purpose. Okay, um, and just as of now, what do I need to do to find more happiness? Uh, be more direct. Spirits say be more direct, because they can tell you to go watch a movie tonight and it'll make you laugh. Be more direct. Um, what, like, what should be my next step in just moving forward? Spirit, uh, that's a pretty vague one. Spirit, what can she do to move forward for her own better good? How's that one? That sound better? So how can she move better for her greater good, Spirit? Listen, peace offering, you can do it. Wow, so has anybody uh, offered you to go anywhere, do anything, or get a new job, get a new promotion, move to a different city? Spirit saying there's an offer on the table, and if you wanna be happier, the better, uh, make your life better, you need to take that person up on that offer. Uh -huh. So has anybody gave you an offer? Uh -huh. Job Are you gonna take it? Yes. Then your life gets better when you take that job. Let me see the time on this reading. It seems like this one went by pretty fast. All right. Uh, you got time for a couple more questions. I'm trying to think of a question when we were talking about um, the like the entitlement. Like, what is drawing me to be entitled? To like, I, like my way is no way. Uh, Spirit told you that. Oshun told you that. They saying you're trying to make it where uh, nobody hurts in the family. Nobody hurts anymore because of due to what your upbringing. And his upbringing due to the fact that he's a little more non-verbal, non-aggressive than you. So you saying, hey, because of his upbringing, because of my upbringing, I'm going to make sure nobody get hurt. Uh, I can't think of another question right now. Mm, okay. Uh, well, the only thing I can say is how you like your reading. I would, I would, I thought you would come with a little bit more up to you. I know. I, just, I, I wasn't really expecting this, so I don't really know what to say. You wasn't expecting to read it? No, I just wasn't expecting to hear that from you. Oh, so you got in your feelings. <laughs> yeah, Spirit be talking. He said it nice. Yeah. Well, well, Spirit told you why you shouldn't be doing that no more. You need to make him step up to the plate so you can have a happier life, sister. You you got to go around fighting all these battles, getting all these scars, and then for what? You start that, you, you start that shit, you're going to end up like Della Reese. I had to fight all my life. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just a dick right now. <laughs> yeah, remember, I know that was Oprah Winfrey and uh, Hoppo now. Cause I had to fight all my life. Mister, you all right? Yeah, it'd be like Oprah Winfrey with a little eye. I'm gonna say I told the spirit not to be fucking fighting everybody about it. But that's it, but it's admirable. Don't get it twisted. It's admirable as hell. You just want the best for your family and I get it. But spirit say this is not your fight. Okay. All 
All right. Well, if uh, if you don't have any more questions, I would like to ask, how did you like your reading again? I very much liked it. I, I'm really happy. I, I was able to, to get some good insight on some questions I've been having. Okay. Okay, uh, one more thing before I let you go. Your ancestor said, uh, I don't know if you're allergic to seafood or if anybody's allergic to seafood, but do me a favor and kind of like buy some seafood and put it up there on that altar for them. I guess the horseshoe crab, they saying they want crab. I saw horseshoe crab, but I think they're saying seafood. They want seafood. I actually am allergic. That's why I was saying, I don't know if you're allergic, but yep. whoever can touch that seafood, could you get that to them? Cause that's what they want. Okay. See, I'm a real psychic. There you go. All right, darling. Well, again, thank you for calling me. And uh, you know what I like to say, uh, if you need to reach me, you know how. Okay, thank you so much. All right, darling, be good. Uh, everybody got thanked that he's reading took her by surprise. Uh, like you say, it was a verbiage, not a verbiage, it was a message. She wasn't ready to hear it, but she doing it in a noble fashion. She want to protect the man. She want to protect the family. And, and this is a good woman, this is admirable. But sometimes, you know, women gotta know when to fold. You can't be tough and Chuck Norris all day long. You gotta say, hey, hub, step your ass up to the plate. And that's all they trying to do. And our ancestors want them that seafood. And uh, so I think she, that's her first step. Tell her hubby, put it on, put it on our ancestors. Off. So who knows how that's gonna go. Positive comments below. All right, everybody, I'm the Baron. Tell you guys to trust in you and the universe. Because at the end of the day, that's all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. So we'll try. All right, let me start by putting some Florida water on my hands before I touch on these cards. All right, so I gotta give you the spiel. As you know, I'm a direct energy reader. Don't believe in reading zodiac signs or birthdays, so don't tell me. It's not important to me. And if they do come out, it won't make a difference. I ask that you be open with the spirit and have fun. Uh, you, you'll be getting the five card spread and looking at the cards you chose. You did not choose your relationship house or your energy or your 12th house, so you do not have to ask a question to any of these cards but you have the option to ask the question. Okay. These bad boys almost shuffled. All right. So I'm uh, taking a liberty of shuffling your card. Say your first name or whatever you like to be called so I can pray on it. Do I have permission to cut your card? Yes, you do. All right. So we're going to start with your first card. Uh, second card. Third card. Ninth house. And then, oh, sixth house. And then the ninth house. Got it. All right. Let's jump on in this thing. So we're going to start with your first card, which is in your first house. Your first house is ruled by Aries and is governed by Mars. Your first house represents your ego, your self-esteem, how you see yourself, what you think of you. In this house right here, you have the man card in the upside down position. Now, as a man, having a man card upside down, this is the sense of doubt. You're saying, okay, there's something going on. I'm doubting myself, I did this. Now, that's pretty cliche talk. I mean, anybody can say that if you're not a psychic. But I'm gonna tell you exactly why you're doubting yourself here, why you don't seem like the man standing next to the man, the head honcho. What Spirit is saying with this man card upside down, this is you having a little bit of regret. And a little bit of regret is the simple fact that you, you, you've allowed something or someone to get past and to get by too damn long. I know you know this person need to be dealt with, you know this situation need to be handled. You just feeling like, ah, oh, I don't know how to do this. I know I should do something about this situation that's causing me a problem in my life, but I can't. And this is not some random item. This is a person. I'm going to say this is a female, believe it or not, that you're telling yourself, I need to deal with this, but then you're at that block. I don't know how to deal with it. If it's worth dealing with the bullshit that's going to come behind it, that type of energy. Would you like to ask this card a question? Uh, is this female someone that I work with or someone uh, okay. in, in family? 
Okay, spirit. Uh, pinpoint, pinpoint this female's energy to him. Is it a co-worker? Is it a family member? What talk? They said go now. Okay. Artistic expression. Okay. See the other person's point of view. Go now. Artistic expression. See the other person's point of view. This is someone that you closely work with, and believe it or not, this person has a lot of mouth. They have a lot of input, or they 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 walking around cock of the walk like they have a lot of input, basically telling you how to run shit, telling you opinions and everything. Spirit say so. This is virtually a co-worker or somebody a, a partnership. I said like that, not a relationship, not a romantic thing, none like that. This is a co-worker, not family. Okay. So spirit say you gonna have to make a decision so you can get your manhood back, get your courage back, or get your throne back inside your household or on the job with these people. Like take back power, basically. Wow. All right. So now we're gonna go over here to your second, your second card, which is in your second house. Your second house is ruled by Taurus and it's governed by Venus. Your second house represents your current economics. This is the money that you have in the bank, savings. This is investments that you have on paper, stocks and bonds. This is current economics. You can pull out your purse and spend. In this house right here, you have the fire element in the ups and the upright position. Now, an element, a element is a thought process. It's something that's not real, but it has the potential to become real and it is present all around us. Water, earth, air, fire, this is an element. Well, having this in the upright position, Spirit say you haven't made a decision to make this real. Fire represents energy, action, movement. So when it comes to your current money, Spirit say you haven't decided on the way you should invest this money, the way you should put this money, or how you should, lack of a better word, hide this money, utilize this money. I'm just gonna call the spade a spade here. You need to diversify, brother. <laughs> Make the damn decision to invest stocks, bonds, hell, hide it on an offshore account. Whatever it is, put it under your mattress. Make the damn decision with this money that you send cash rich on, okay? Okay. Would you like to ask this card a question? Uh, no, not that one. <laughs> he said, nigga, you hit that on the head, bitch. Go to the next. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's go over here to your third house. Your third house is ruled by Gemini and is governed by Mercury. Your third house represents communication. With Gemini ruling this house, you need to take communication for what it is information don't hang your hat on it don't make your life decisions on it this is the way you talk to people where they talk to you the conversations throughout your life in this house right here you have the ace of fire in the upright position having the ace of fire upright spirit saying these communications that you're giving your barking commands and you're not afraid to put a bitch in their place let's get that straight you barking commands but at the same time it's the follow through that spirit is having a problem with if you tell me every day hey baron i'm gonna kick your ass for me busting bottles on your porch and you never do it do you think i'm really gonna think you're gonna hit me mm -hmm. spirit say with this communication you're you're speaking a good game but you're not following through with action in order to get Everything back on track, back harmony, uh, how we say in the old days, pull up your britches. You're going to have to act upon the threats, the talk, and the decisions you're making. It needs to be done. Wow. Would you like to ask this card a question? Um, can I ask uh, if, if the spirit sees me overcoming that, that issue that's, uh, follow through. Uh, spirit's always going to see you overcoming because they gave you the answer. I'm going to say, could you change that question around a little bit? and says, and say more like spirit, who's the target of this? Who or what should I be, what should I follow through on? What conversation should I follow through on? Actually, the, the target is the perfect question. Okay, there we go. Spirit, who is the target of this? Who, who should he be targeting with this right here? Who should he put this on? Spirit said, take charge of the situation. Okay, who should you put this on? Spirit said, uh, open your heart to love. Take charge of the situation. It's not open your heart to love, it's more uh, reconcile, forgiveness. Oh, uh, take charge of the situation, reconcile with forgiveness. And Spirit say, see the truth about the children. See the truth about children, offspring. Okay, okay, okay. They're saying, uh, you kind of got to forgive, how can I say this? I don't want to put it down as your, your wife, your, your kid's mother, because I'm not seeing that connection. But they, there's some youth involved, like a child or a childlike energy, young young person, young person, thank you, Spirit. Spirit said, it's like you got to forgive yourself. You got to not let this person, okay, thank you. 
if there's a young person in your circle that has some strings attached to you and they're using those strings against you. So they knowing that even if you say something, they don't gotta listen to you because you're too damn friendly to them or they're, they're giving you the puppy dog tears or I got bills, I got this and, and they saying this person is having a childlike behavior, even it's a young person or it's a childlike behavior and I'm still seeing a female. Uh, I don't know why the hell I'm still seeing the same damn female from the first card. Huh. It's like, it's in, this is a lot of feminine energy around you and spirit is saying, you have to act upon what you're gonna say. If you say I'm gonna handle this tomorrow, handle it. If you say, hey, I'm gonna make sure, you know, Rebecca don't get no coffee no more. You know, you gotta handle that because spirits say they're using this, 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 they're using this superficial, ah, shit, what's the word? God damn it, I got a hell of a vernacular. Uh, they're, they're using, they're using your, not insecurities, they're using your kindness or grace and mercy that you bestowed upon them a while back ago against you. And spirits say that's the person that need to do it. And it is a female. So whoever you were nice to, ah, uh, they are really... <laughs> they are really landed on thick, bro. Yeah. All right. So let's go over here to your fourth card, which is in your sixth house. Your sixth house is ruled by Virgo and is governed by Mercury. Your sixth house represents your future money, future economics, prosperity, wealth, investment. In this house right here, you have the seven of water. I mean, the eight of water in the upright position. Now, the number eight represents imagination. Water represents emotion. Now, what's on this card, they saying you are afraid because there's an octopus coming out the water taking down your ship. Spirit is saying when it comes to your future money, you're afraid that you're gonna make some bad business endeavors. You're afraid that someone, something, somebody is gonna get emotional and begin to tear up your livelihood. Not your business, the livelihood in itself. That goes for marriage, money, cars, industry, uh, relationships, uh, what they call leads, that type of stuff. Spirit saying, with that being in here, Spirit say this is an imagination clause. This is something that you are just imagining that can happen. It's a hypothetical. Do not let that stop you from making better decisions for your company, better decisions for your family. Don't let it stop you from doing anything. These are hypotheticals and I can promise you won't nothing bad come of you investing or taking control of your future economics in some form or fashion. Would you like to ask okay. this part of the question? Uh, no, I think I'm good on that one. All right, all right. Let's go over here to your fifth card. Your fifth card is in your ninth house. Now, I'm concerned about this. I'm gonna tell you, you should be concerned too, but I'll, I'll get to it. Uh, we're going over to your fifth card that's in your ninth house. Your ninth house is ruled by Sagittarius and is governed by Jupiter. Your ninth house represents your future, your reality, what's coming to you, what will be. In this house right here, you have the enslaved prisoner in the upright position. Now, spirits say having an enslaved prisoner in the upright position, spirits say what's coming to you, you're gonna put these false stipulations on yourself that you feel you're gonna have to make up. You're gonna have to apologize. You're gonna have to be so apologetic. You're gonna be putting yourself in a box. You're not gonna be able to do anything that you wanna do in life, or you're gonna have to hold yourself to a certain degree. Spirit saying, don't you do this. Let me tell you something, brother. I, I, I ain't gonna go too deep in your life, but mistakes happen shit happen but you do not get to put yourself in prison and and hold on to that forgiveness okay. comes even if let's say let's say that you lied to the wife forgiveness need to be given but you don't need to kiss no ass while you're on that forgiveness trip that's not manly own your shit and move forward but spirits say what's coming in the future you're gonna be so apologetic oh baby i allowed this to happen for too long or i overlook you don't be a but don't don't be caught in that box and put yourself in that box mm -hmm. because i tell you what my daddy told me when you put yourself in somebody else's hand don't don't be surprised if they make a fit so as a man you can't put yourself in that in that box if you did something wrong you overlook your wife you overlook your child you didn't do something you spanked a kid ass too hard one day apologize see what you did wrong move forward for the best but spirits say you're you're such a nice guy good hearted fellow you're gonna carry this burden on and it's gonna tear you up inside. So I am telling you, bro, do not do this. Own your shit, move forward. Okay. Would you like to ask this card a question? Is there a specific thing that the spirit sees that, uh, that you could elaborate a little bit more on? I love it. 
spirit go a little deeper what is it that what what is it that's gonna gonna make him feel so obligated to put himself in bondage he's saying priorities uh priorities purification <sighs> priorities purification and the offer uh so how can i say this so priorities uh purification and uh, offer so there was a there was an offer that was taken out of context there was a wording something said that was taken out of context that you didn't mean that way, but somebody else took it a certain way. Mm -hmm. And I'm being very tactful with my words here. So it was taken out of context, although you caught that context, it's still something that has placed you in servitude, thinking that everything could break down and fold down on top of you. It's not gonna happen. Okay. You, you follow what I'm saying? Yes. It was taken out of context. So there should not be any negative energy towards this on either part. I can see that right now. This is manipulation 101. And that's what this whole reading is about. Somebody is manipulating your good heart, your good nature, and it's time to stop it. You shouldn't let that control you. Okay. All right. Uh, we still got a little bit more time. Do you have any random questions? Um, I've never done this before, so it's hard to, hard to be prepared for that, man. Um, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I mean, a lot of this stuff is spot on. Yeah, um, yeah I really don't. Okay. Hey, that's a satisfying customer. When, when Spirit put it down on you and you can see everything they're saying and it comes clear you get the solution to these things, Bro, that's all I can ask for as a tarot reader, man. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. I appreciate you. All right. Well, you know what I like to say. Uh, if you need to reach me, you know how. All right. I will definitely be reaching out to you. All right, brother. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. All right, everybody. That went so quick. And as you know, this was his brother's first time. Spirit saw saw the, the fear and, and, and the anxiety. I ain't going to say fear, the anxiety in it. And Spirit eased him on in there. Gave him what he wanted. Let me tell you something. This brother got a good heart and he's helping a lot of people. I wish I could tell you his business what Spirit showed me, but that's his person. He is helping a lot of people with his business. And people, when you own businesses, people will take some shit you said out of context and try to use that against you, destroy your marriage. So as a businessman, he's a nice, friendly guy and he cares. And this is what's destroying him. But Spirit, put it on the line. Brother, this is not you. You didn't mean nothing about it. You, they take this out of context. Don't let them manipulate you. And I just, everybody, let's pray that this brother get what he deserved, get that energy, uh, get that negative energy away from him so he can be a better boss and a better employee because there's some better people out there that really could use a decent human being boss like this person. Positive comments below, everybody. All right, I am the Baron telling you guys to trust the you in the universe because at the end of the day, that's all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. Soul Tribe.